Upon arriving in France, you could cut the tension in a very unit with a knife. But in the end we all knew that the years we spent in training would see us through the coming months. Moving forwards towards the sound of gunshots, our brothers stood beside us, and anything would get us through this battle, it'd be them. Or I'd just get clipped from 200 yards away by a sniper I didn't see. I'll never get over the trucks in hell or lose. Everyone just kind of looks at each other all dead eyed. Like, try to suppress their memories, boys, honestly. Like, it's horrifying. Like, stop looking at me. Stop looking at me, dude. It's just weird. Look at the scenery. Look at them gunshots. Show us some emotion. Like, sh damn. There's like three lorries all heading to the same objective. I'm not even sure which one I'm in to be honest. Like I'm trying to check the map to find out but no idea. I have no idea at this point where I am or where I'm headed. In this game, when it's all quiet, that's when you got to worry. While in a firefight, it's important to keep you cool and not over exaggerate on the chat. Oh, lots of people on my tank. Lots of them. Now, at this point, if you're thinking, I can't see the guy he's shooting at, this recording must be bad. Well, you're right, the recording is terrible, but I can't see the guy that I'm shooting at either. Everyone currently on this front is a hardened soldier, meaning that it's not uncommon to hear the odd swear, profanity, shouting out, and general asking for help from your teammates. This guy probably isn't the hardened soldier that we thought everybody was. Although I lie dying on the floor, there's no need to worry. One of the highly skilled medics is on their way to revive me. He died. As the anti-tank roll, I have to take pop shots at the tank, regardless of how many times this may get me killed and how dumb the idea is. In life you often find yourself in some no-win situations. Now you can either give up to these, or you can spray your M1 Grand in the hope of killing as many people as possible. I mean, I got one. Spawning at a hot OP is high risk and high reward. Meaning there's germs nearby that you can kill. Or most likely you can mistake them for one of your soldiers, stand with them in a corner for a bit, and then they shoot you in the chest. After being killed six times in a row, I blow up some steam by randomly shooting towards the general direction of the enemy. It's almost like they weren't actually trying to kill me there, they're just like, knock that off dude. To the Americans' advantage during the war, the mass amount of money that the Germans put into research and development enabled them to come up with different and alternative ways to smoking. When this German soldier started vaping, it gave away his position quite well. After planning my holiday to Spain with Ryanair, I found myself crashed in a French field surrounded by German Nazis trying to kill me. Before the introduction of camouflage into the battlefield, it was still important to try and stay hidden from the enemy. This is why I submerged myself in a bush. Dragging yourself across bushes was a common tactic used in the Second World War. 
It's important to show your teammates that you're getting mad kills on the battlefield by blind firing to simulate that bodies are actually dropping. Realistically, all I'm hurting here is the scenery. When I was a kid, my mum and dad would often have shows about gardening on in the background. Now, I hate gardening, and subsequently, I've taken a vow to take this out on all gardeners that I can find in this war. I'm sure the grass will grow just fine without you. In fact, you're fertiliser now. You're welcome. When your own team member's in the way between you and a German soldier, and you ask yourself, should I shoot through him and get a kill, or let him move? I actually decided to shoot through him, he just got out of the way in time, that was lucky on his half. In my efforts to be more environmentally friendly, I have a rare moment where I take out my frustration against my teammates in the game. Who left the engine running on that car? Think of the environment, Jesus Christ, fuck's sake. Part of my role in the American army is to stop naughty future prime ministers from invading our fields of wheat. Some say it's a war crime to empty your entire clip into a wounded soldier just to make sure he can't be healed. I mean, I'm not sure the legalities of it, but if it is, I'm going down. Now, after receiving an order from a superior commander to blow up a enemy node, which is how they get ammo and resources, I'm more than happy to help. Step away. Oh sh! I zooped it, mate. Yeah, we're about to do something very up. <laughs> I was wondering why I could see it on the map. If you can hear that, that is a transportation vehicle. Now I am equipped with a bazooka, so it's my job to try and destroy this transportation vehicle as best I can. Now probably best to check whether it's German or friendly first, but I don't. Turns out it was a German, but. I missed it anyway, so it doesn't really matter. I almost jumped out of my desk for this bit. Hitting it from that far away with the bazooka, I almost went mental. I mean, I didn't kill it. I probably should have done, but still pretty happy with myself. This game is based on teamwork, and knowing that you've got people behind you is, can be the difference between having to respawn and run three miles and getting the kills that you need to win the game. That being said, I go off completely on my own looking for this German transportation vehicle. Looking for me, our team has a dedicated medic that will do everything he can to get me up in this situation. Sound, sound. After sprinkling some morphine on my wound and then proceeding to wrap up his own hand with bandages, he completely heals me of the two gunshots I took from the German soldiers. An underrated feature of this game is that when you shoot some of the German troops, they begin to start yodeling. Again, at the plane. Again, I find myself in the more than capable hands of the medic of our unit. Again, I find myself having to run another 20 minutes to get back to the combat. Just like the real 1940s, a splinter can often be fatal. This is why when this fence does me some bit of damage, I proceed to put three bullets into it. Well, more than three, but yeah. Tensions seem to be rising on the point. The Germans are getting closer and closer and there's not much we can seem to do about it. Now, I know that technically my class is an anti-tank, but why not repurpose that to be anti one person stood in a field? Although the game is lost, and we have no chance of coming back from this inevitable defeat, it's good to know that I have a bit of content for a YouTube video that potentially up to 10 people might see, and this is including my mum, my dad, my girlfriend, my cat, and myself. So guys, thanks for watching.